Hello chingos, welcome to this political, historical, and sociological channel. Today I want to share with you how Swimmeray Ligainess was assaulted at conference beaten by trans activists. Police officers quickly removed her from the scene amid a barrage of verbal attacks from surrounding the tractors. US swimmer Rayleigh Gaines barricaded herself in a room at San Francisco State University SFAUSU Thursday night after she was physically assaulted following a speech to students about saving women's sports from transgender athletes. Her husband, Louis Berker, said he had brief conversations in the room from nearly three hours. As Gaines spoke with students, many of whom expressed opposition to her views, other footage from the event showed that the swimmers' comments were drawn out by a group of pro-trans protesters who had become increasingly vocal outside the room. She said, she told me that a guy in a dress hit her several times. She was shocking. It made me so angry. It made me sick to feel so powerless about it. Berker said, she was under police protection and yet she was beaten by a man in a dress. That night, Riley Gaines spoke at San Francisco State University to share her personal story of competing against a gender athlete Leah Thomas as year's CAA Women's Swimming Championship. Ellie Bremer Gaines again told the media, In the last year, her goal in speaking at universities has been to educate her peers about her experience and the impact growing number of biological men in women's sport will have on the integrity of the Title IX. She has been challenged in civil judgment and somewhat discontinuous manners about her views many times and fully encourage diverse views and debate on the topic. Her representative said on Twitter, Gaines shared images she took showing that police officers quickly removed her from this scene amid a barrage of verbal attacks from the tractor surrounding her. Prisoners are in charge of the asylum at SFSU. I was ambushed and physically beaten twice by one man. This is a proof that women need protected spaces from men. Even more, it reassures me that I'm doing something right when they want to silent speak up. That was her declaration. Matches show it that the protest grew in size, eventually becoming so chaotic and police escorted Gaines out of the room and down the hallway and locked her in a separate room. They say we are conducting an ongoing investigation into the situation. There were no arrests related to the event. The disruption occurred after the conclusion of the event, San Francisco State University said, forcing officials at the to move the even speaker from the room to a different secure location. Gaines is a 12-time NCAA swimming swimmer become a national figure when she objected to trans swimmer Leah Thomas participating in women's sports. Many athletes such as former Olympic athlete Nancy Hoxett Magner have warned that biological men have a distinct advantage over biological women when competing. Ex-President Donald Trump said that trans women should not compete in women's sports and referred to swimmer Leah Thomas. Men should not be allowed to participate in women's sports, Trump declared, and received a standing ovation from those attending a presentation in Washington. The former president assured that his advisors have told him not to talk about these issues. He added, I have all these consultants who tell me, Sir, don't say that. That's very controversial. It's not written anywhere. I tell them, this might be a good time. Trump referred to swimmer Lyat Thomas using male pronouns and criticized her of being nominated to the athlete of the year. She, that's what they call it, is someone with a man's body. You know the guy who was named Family Athlete of the Year. She was named Family, but she wouldn't be dealing with 
things that are so easy. Jump say, several trans women competed in the Tokyo Games, marking the first time apparently trans athletes participate in the Olympics. New Zealand's Lauren Hubbard's first attempt in the weightlifting competition marked her Olympic debut. Hubbard's participation as a trans woman in the Summer Olympics has generated controversy and uproar with critics, saying her eligibility is a treat to fairness in sport. Others say the inclusion of trans athletes cannot be overlooked if they are no significant advantages. One study published in 2020 looked at US military personnel who transitioned while in a service and found that trans women maintain an advantage after year of feminizing hormone therapy, which generally includes suppressing testosterone levels and increasing estrogen. The research was conducted by Timothy Roberts, MD, a pediatrician and associate professor at the University of Missouri, Kansas City, and colleagues. They found that trans women who underwent hormone therapy for one year continued to outperform non-transgender women, also known as cisgender women. All talk, the gap largely closed after two years, but even then, trans women ran 12% faster. So, do trans women have an advantage when it comes to competing in elite sports? Without hormone therapy, yes, but even with hormone therapy, current researchers suggested that trans women still maintain an advantage in strength. Pretty much any of you look at it, trans women are going to have strength advantage even after hormone therapy. I just don't see that as anything more than a given, said Joanna Harper, a medical physicist at Britain's Lightboard University. For Tommy Lomberg, whose research at the Karolinska Institute in Sweden focuses on skeletal mus muscle strength in trans people on hormone therapy, the strength advantage for trans women are to the point where fairness in most sports cannot be guaranteed. The big problem at the moment is that hormone therapy itself does not eliminate the advantage to the extent that fairness can be said to have been achieved. And in fact, the AOC International Olympic Committee states that the primarily objective is and remains the guarantee of fair competition. That's what they say in their guidelines. So that's the problem at the moment, they don't go hand to hand, boys and girls have similar muscle mass. It's only once a boy experiences poverty that difference begin to emerge and they become pronounced once boy experience an increase in testosterone. Normally if you are 8 or 9 years old there is no biological performance difference between boys and girls. So it starts around age 11 when you start to see this disparity. and then it really kicks in during poverty. And then you have basically this big difference in muscle mass. Robert, who is a pediatrician specializing in adolescent medicine, said, younger children before poverty, there is no reason to have division between boys and girls. They are physically quite equivalent. It's after poverty that you really see this divergence in athletic performance. World Athletics bans trans women from participating in women's sports. The World Athletic Council voted to ban athletes who are transgender women or who have difference in development from competing in elite athlete competitions. With respect to these trans, the council agreed to include male to female transgender athletes who have gone through male poverty from competing in women's world ranking. They say that decisions are always difficult when they involve conflicts, needs and rights between different groups. But we continue to believe that we must maintain fairness for family athletes above, above all other considerations. Sebastian Co say in a statement, we will be guided in this by the science around physical performance and the male advantage that will be inevitably developed in the coming years. As more evidence becomes available, we will review our position. But we believe the integrity of the women's category in athletics is paramount. I would really like to know in the comments what do you think about this, about trans competitions, about what women are fighting for, and the case of this woman in this university and the attacks she suffered. 
If you like, I would love if you give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe to my channel to get more information like this. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!